Hello everybody, how's it going? Stephanie Oni coming to you from Concord, California. This is the like fourth time I've done this video. It is now quarter after five. I believe I started trying to do this about 4.30. Keep getting tongue-tied. You know, it's not saying the exact right things, so I need to shorten it, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I had to go out today and people. Uh, I did get your video up this afternoon and I think this video will go up tomorrow morning. I'm going to do the drawing live on the 15th at 3 o'clock um, Pacific time. So if you don't know what time that coincides with you, just type in your town. What time is it in Minneapolis if it is 3 o'clock in California? And it will give you the time. So just Google it, okay? Um, three o'clock, I will try to be live. Hopefully my internet doesn't die right in the middle of it and freeze up like it did on Sunday. I'm hoping that the issue on Sunday was due to um, too many people using the internet. Uh, the service right here is unfortunately not quite what was promised. Okay. Um, what I'm working on is this massive behemoth layout. And if I ever, ever again say, what happens if we put six, six pieces, pages together? I wonder if we could do it. Next time, tell me no. And come on, guys. Oh, the behemoth page. Arr, come on, come on, arms. Dun, dun, dun. So, um, I've got all the images on now. Uh, you'll watch me putting those on. Uh, I had to go print off some new stuff. And, uh, I still have the images to find for the backs of the tents. <sighs> I think I have some wording that's going to work. However, I'm going to have to resize um, those to fit. Um, you know, this, this has just been so extensive. But I thought about it, and what I've decided to do here was 6, 12... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. On this one two page layout, it is addressing 34 surfaces, 34 different individual pages. That's why it's taking me so long. Um, and then I did have to, uh, you'll see this in the video, I had to operate on my book. Um, now, not to say that it, 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 so this close is much better, but this won't, you know, this book, when it's done, is going to be a big round robin. Uh, but I had to take this pressure off of this seam. So as you can see when it was down in there, it was really pushing in the seam. I've kind of started to play with that and thinking through ideas and stuff and and it's it's Of course, I've got to make something that's hyper complicated for the next page because I'm looking at figuring out how to do a uh waterfall page with 7 because I want to do the last of these, 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 these curiosities people. And if I do a waterfall, somehow, I'm still looking at how to get it done. Um, not sure on how to make it work completely yet. I'm getting close. Using my brain. So I got distracted the other day while I was waiting for things to dry. Um... Did I tell you what the prize is for this video yet? 
I don't think I did. The prize for this video is, let me unwrap them real quick. A brown and a black Stabilo pencil. So once again, I am giving you my stash. Uh, as you know, this is a $10 value, five bucks each if you buy them individually. Don't ever buy your Stabilos individually. Um, you know, unless you really can't swing the $17. Uh, if you guys find it cheaper than what I have on my link, please let me know and I will update my link uh, as soon as possible for Amazon link. Uh, buy the 12 pack of Stabilo if you can. You know, share it with your buddies, whatever, to, to help out with the cost. But if you're buying these individual, this is a $10 addition to that massive, uh, extremely full grocery bag of goodies. So that is your addition to today's project. Uh, like I said, I think this will go, I'll, I'll try to get it all edited tonight. I'll try to finish the book or finish the layout, which I don't think I'll get the outsides of the tents addressed. I'm just going to finish up the stabiloing and the stuff on the inside that needs to be done. Uh, I'll do the outer stuff later. I've just kind of worn out from this page. Um, and you guys know how I kind of do jump around like that. So it's very hard for me to just stay in one place the whole time. And I, I need to uh, probably find a few more images and find out exactly what I want to put on the outsides of those tent pages. And they're going to be probably some advertisements similar to this. But this guy needs to be um, shrunk down to the right size. So I have to go on my computer and do more computer work. Uh, the napkin packs will be up on Etsy to, to, to today or tomorrow. Uh, I tried, I tried, I tried to get them up today. And then I got distracted by Tim Holtz. Uh, I think it was the... Uh, is it the ideology line? Oops, sorry. The preview came out today. February. February is when all these great new things come out. And they have some great new ephemera. If you get a chance, go on to... Um, it's probably posted on YouTube. Check out uh, the Tim Holtz uh, ideology sneak peek. For February's products. Like, oh god, I've gotta have that. So your Stabilo pencils are going into here. Um, the napkin pack will be up on Etsy. I I hope I'll get to it tomorrow. Um a busy day again today. I, I had to go out and people again. And uh just just fighting the fight, uh, trying to get everything. Um, prepared and, and not buy too much stuff for the new place but on the other hand you know I had to sell everything in my kitchen when I moved here because I just have one counter and a mini fridge uh, and two burners so um, there's pieces and parts that I have to now replace to make a kitchen hole I'm digressing horribly horribly okay Let's get down to the table. Let's get to work. I'm going to put you guys on fast forward. Um, you won't see this until the very end of your video. I'm going to watch a movie. Um, I'm, I started watching The Greatest Show on Earth this morning. Or The Greatest Show, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll be able to... Get, I, I kind of want to see how they've portrayed these people. But the unfortunate thing is, it, you know, since it's in a musical form... I just have a little bit harder time with that. Uh, anyway. Okay. I've definitely got to be gluing some seams here. I'm seeing some stuff that's coming up. Um, not liking that. So, all right. I'm going to get to work. And uh, there's your goodie bag. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, if you get you know this video come up, I'll post it on Facebook. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can see it tomorrow. I'll get everybody's names put down, I promise. And if you haven't gone through and liked and commented on 
some of the prior videos, you know, you, you don't have to do it on the day. You can go back through the old videos and, uh, you know, if you've already done it, please don't be slimy and have me put your name into the box more. Um, you know, there's been a lot of people that have been so, so awesome about, you know, sharing and commenting and you guys, you've done really well to get my numbers up. So, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm jonesing to start working. So let's get down to the table. All right. We'll chat soon. Let's see you tomorrow at 3 a.m. Afternoon. P.m. <laughs> yeah. Afternoon. Not doing it in the morning. At 3 a.m. in the morning. Although I probably could, knowing me. All right. See you later. Bye. Hi, guys. How's it going? Um, I need to get a video out to you guys today. And uh, the book is kind of like... I'm just going to work on it. I'm watching my niece play volleyball in Switzerland. She She's on um, Geneva Volley. Uh, she plays professional volleyball. So I'm going to watch her play. So I'm just going to put you guys on fast forward while I'm choosing images. Um, I'm trying to be cautious of... I don't want to cover all, all my beautiful work here. I thought about doing a cabinet card, but um, it's going to add too much bulk. So we're just going to have to work around it. There will be, um, of course, these ridges are going to come through on our images. That's going to be part of the look. Um, it will add a vintage feel to it, but just be aware that I know that that's going to happen. Uh, so I'm going to work here for about an hour, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I've got a ton of things to do today. Um, but I did need to get you some video out because I didn't have a chance to work yesterday. I was actually just drained. I was so drained. So um, I'm just going to push through and see if I can get all the images on here. And once I do that, you know, I'll come back with my Stabilo and get all the edges. Um, you know, I might actually take my corner cutters and see if I can get, uh, you know, a little bit nicer shape on some of these images. I think I'll do that. Okay, so that's my plan. You guys are just going to go on fast forward. I'm going to watch a volleyball game, and um, I think you already have a prize in for this video, hopefully. Because I keep adding stuff to that that you probably don't even know I'm adding to that bag. So uh, we'll do a review of that later on today after I get some of my other things taken care of. Okay, guys, we'll chat soon.
Well, I guess I could. I guess I can, too. I just want to clear the board up.
Hi guys. Okay, so this this I expected to be the hardest part um, out of all of this is choosing the right images to go with the right people. And uh, you know how to do honor to to all the others that I'm not adding in. Um, I think the snakes would be cool. We already did kind of a tattooed lady earlier. Um, I just, I love the imagery of these, these women. Um, but truly you could probably do a whole book on just the tattooed lady. Um, so I've already done one of those. I probably need to take that out. Now there is one other thing that's going through my brain as I'm doing this because I would love to do something that just kind of shows all of these guys. And uh, in order to do that, I think I might have to do possibly one more thing on here. And um, I think a little flip book would be cool. Um, I'm thinking of those, um, excuse me, those index cards that I just put into your kit. Um, if I put those, if I put these images on these people on the index card, I think that would be kind of cool. Um, But that means one more page of the sideshow, which I, I actually don't mind um, doing that because the three ring circus doesn't interest me nearly as much as the sideshow people, as you can tell. I do want to do something with the horsewomen. I do want to do um, a, a ringleader page, but the ringleader might still go up front. Um, so... I'm just working through this. I think if I could do some sort of flip book, and actually I think it would be cool to have some sort of pulley thing where it causes it to flip. And I get their images in there. Uh, it would be the people like, uh, not her. Um, the snake lady, I, I still love this image. So I think I will go and find a snake lady online um, I know I said that I wasn't going to do another page of circus oh, freaks but I think I will because I like them and I want to do them in proper honor um, the peep show I think it'd be kind of fun to do one with the peep show but see like these guys here, the I want to do the actual images of the people though. These, these. So I'm gonna have to go online uh, into my files, make this guy a little bit smaller, possibly. These. I love this strange people image. That's gonna start it out. Uh, where's the tall and short guy? And here's the peep show. One right there. Bearded lady, that's a really large picture of the bearded lady. Um, this guy is so super creepy. So, here, these two. Him, that one, uh, or that one. That one would be good. That one would be good. Uh, elephant skin girl doesn't really appeal to me that much. The sword eater, he'd be awesome. That one. That guy, even though I don't think, I think that's a remake. Um, I think I've got smaller. So just to kind of do I want to do something that shows all these incredible people who spent such a, a hard life doing these. 
you know these two were the kid were the 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 ones that were um slaves for most of their uh lives uh, i don't know if they were ever really set free but they were they were not treated well at all a really sad story uh so i think I think I'm going to try to do something that just kind of uh, focuses on those guys. This will be more the different acts. This will be closer to just the people themselves. Um, you know, I did do a bearded lady already. It would be cool to do the tattooed lady in there. You know, if I have a flipper of five, that would give me ten images. Um, so... I will figure out construction on that guy in the future. So I'm going to set these aside. And also this one here. He's, he deserves... He's already on another page, though, too. So it's, it's so hard with all the different images of deciding what I want to put in here. <clears throat> I do think that these are pretty kick butt. You know, the people flying out of the cannons. Um... And I have a great ad for that one here. I mean, look at this guy. So I can put that on this far end here. I think that goes well. I could even put it here. And then, um, so she'll go in. And possibly a couple more of the ads will go in. I don't know if I have another picture of somebody flying here. So I want to find a snake lady ad. And, um, okay, so this guy, the snake lady, I, I have this one, Freak Show Presents the Mysterious Snake Lady, I don't know if this is old or not, I don't think so, yeah, copyright, um, I just saw this copyright down here, it's so small. So, I don't think I want to use this image, although it's a great image. Um, I, I think I want to go and find uh, more actual images. Here's another snake lady. And her. I really... I love the way that she's connecting. I love the way that she's connecting. So, those will probably be the two images that I use. Um... The ombre. Um, the bearded lady. I don't think I want to focus the bearded lady. I mean, this is a great advertisement, but it just doesn't hit me as a great uh, image. You know, I want something super, super cool like the other ones that I have. So. I'm going to go online and go see if I can find what I want here. I want a good snake lady ad. And then I have this last one here. This lady can be here on this smaller, let's see here. This would be better because of the way that it's pointing you back into the composition instead of having her over here or over here. Um, you know, I could do it over there. Nope. I actually, it's a little bit, well, covers up everything. Let's put this one here. I think that's great. And, um, her image will go in there. some of this extra off of here. You know, it's, it's so hard to choose what images to use. Uh, how wide is that? Not that wide. Four inches. Four inches is a good size. I'm just looking at the design here of the image, seeing what I want to cut off. 
to make the image as interesting as possible. Yeah, there's a lot of cool background on here. So I almost cut off this edge, but I would have lost, you know, a bit of this and a bit of this and a bit of this. Um, so, you know, it's just keeping my lines where I want them to be. Um, Let's get these guys out here. The human projectile. Zazzle. Zazzle. <laughs> so, um, that, that, those will be there. Whatever. Um, we'll do the snake lady here. We'll go find an ad for her. And I have to find something for the last page that I really want to be there. So again, I'll look through the... Uh, This is a great, uh, <laughs> excellent ad. I could put that on the front of one of these tents. Probably right here would be the best spot. So I need to go and resize this and make that smaller because I think that's a great uh, image. It's all in the images, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go do some more research. So, Ugh. again, I don't have a ton of time to work on this today. I've got so much to do once again. Drive me crazy. Drive me crazy. Okay, we'll chat soon. Bye. Hi guys, how's it going? Um, I've kind of been working without you here. I was just watching the playback on the live feed that I did. It looks like I froze at about minute, uh, uh, gosh, I don't know, 14 or something like that with the mica tiles. It doesn't look like I come back, so I am sorry on that. My AT&T um, doesn't always have the best service, right? Um, okay. So I did decide to do a book repair uh, before I go any further with this page. Um, it was putting just too much stress on the book, and you can see why. I mean, this is a full inch wide. I didn't realize it was going to be that wide. And it didn't really happen to be that wide until I kind of split it out here. And I just ran my X-Acto knife. Sorry. Let me pull you up just a little bit here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I ran my X-Acto knife along this line, and since I had put the fabric in here and also the fabric in here, it was staying, um, hold on here, sorry, it was staying in the book. It wasn't, you know, moving um, or tearing the book, but uh, I was going to have an issue soon. So... We know that this is going to be a big fat book. It's most likely going to end up sitting like this, but I wanted to build more out instead of trying to keep this thing together. I mean, for this to sit properly in this book, I would need to remove the rest of the remaining signatures, and I've got far too many ideas to do that. So this is going to be kind of um, an... Uh, it's going to be interesting <laughs> how it's going to work out, but it's going to sit properly. And for me, um, giving the book, keeping the book as healthy as possible is always my priority. So even though this will sit kind of strange now, I did end up going through some of this. I will go back and um, repair that, but you know, it'll, it'll give it character. Um, you know, I don't want it to be uneven either. So it looks like it's 
potentially a little uneven here, but maybe we just need to tape that down there. Get that uh, band-aid going right there. Uh, once I put this fabric down, though, I, I um, grabbed out a piece. Once I get this guy in here to do the repair, it will be just fine. Um, this will really solidify it. It will make it strong. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to do it, but it, it's better that I'm doing it now than later. And, um, because again, the way that it was sitting here, it at least, um, it has room to move. So we're just going to create a fabric, uh, a fabric binding in here. You know, this, this piece of fabric was in there. So we're essentially taking it and we're going to connect that fabric back to here. Okay. So I've done some taping, um, and that's, I'm, I'm hope well, actually let's do this with Fabri-Tac. I want to use the strongest glue possible to do this repair. Um, I was initially looking to do this whole thing on this page. Looks like I didn't give it enough space to do that. Because I think on this page, I'm going to be able to do now that uh, curiosity flip page. Um, so maybe, maybe just like that. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Let's cut this seam out. Again, what I'm concerned about right now is, is purely strengthening the book. Um, making sure I have enough room for everything. And yes, I know that this book will never close again, but with the other things that I want to do with this, I, I know that that page won't work as is. So let's make it work. All right. And let's uh, really saturate all of this. Definitely want to get in between here and actually we're going to, hmm, I, I wonder if we should actually take that tape off of there. You know, this guy, I like this tape, but sometimes it reacts funny. So let's just do it now. Let's just make sure we're doing the best by the book that we can, um, that gaffer's tape. We know the fabric will work uh, the best. I like the fat. I like the gaffer's tape because it does, you know, keep things in place. But on the other hand, oh, we just put a big glob of glue on the other side of that book. We don't want that. And we are going to have to glue this page to probably three other pages here to make sure it's a super strong bond. Come on. And we're getting it in here where it's most important. Make sure that it's straight. We want to make sure that this lines up here. Now, I know that this is kind of a, a weird mm, solution to this. I, I haven't personally really done this before, uh, but I did kind of actually do it on the first page. So that's how I know that I, I made it work by giving this extra space here. Okay, this stuff is so sticky. Uh, I'm going to have to go through... Let's, Let's make sure we're not having an issue over here. We have a little bit of an issue here because of uh, we need to hold this in line here. And 
so I'm constantly repairing and and fortifying the, you know to the best of my abilities on this because uh, you know the book is worth it. It's worth taking the time to do that. This will strengthen up. Um, truthfully, let's see what else we could put in here to give it just a little bit extra. Maybe we should just see how that goes. But I want I do want to make sure that that's stuck all the way into those cracks and crevices. It's a uh, you know these books these books they take a they take a lot of beating. And um, how do we keep them healthy? That's that's the question. All right, so I got a four er there. Four pages. This I'll probably cut off later. Uh, I'm going to saturate a little bit from the top here. The glue will make it strong again as long as it's not um, affecting the Fabri-Tac underneath. You know, we don't want to affect our, our, we don't want the two glues working against each other. And uh, last thing we want to check here is this guy. We'll fix this later. Um, this obviously is still going to have, it's not even, due to that split, that would make it even. Um, just pulling it together here just a touch more than what it is. Okay, so I have to go get some stuff done, um, including figuring out how to get my furniture moved that I bought yesterday, uh, paying the movers, and all of that fun, fun things. I had a little bit of a scare today with thinking about money. It's like, oh, dang. <laughs> but I think, I think it'll be okay. It was just like, oh, gosh. This is an expensive month, you know? Expensive month. So... I'm going to let that dry. I am much happier with how this sits. And, uh, yeah, that was my goal. And I know that it wasn't 100% necessary, but I think in the end it, it would have been um, very, very necessary. This is a little bit of white gesso. I don't usually use uh, gesso, but uh, since we're here... It looks like it's separated out a little bit. Yeah, it's the gesso. Sometimes you, it's like, is that the gesso? So I'm just going to do a quick glopping of gesso here. Uh, for one, it protects your pages. Um, hmm. Do I want to do I want to do some texture on here? I could, I could see about doing some texture. It's kind of a precarious moment to worry about doing uh, texture, actually. So we need all of this to kind of dry together and make a super strong bond. But we also want it to be interesting and. You know, keep conscious of, of what our page is going to be underneath of here. Um, hmm. Part of me wants to create some texture. If I make this nice and thick on here, I can make something cool. I don't know about... I'm just going to paint this. I'm not going to worry about doing texture on that part. Still trying to think of what I want to use for the texture. <sighs> I 
This is just a piece of deli sheet. Let's see what we can do with this. So I don't want a ton because this is going to have that advertisement on it. Or this will have the waterfall on it. Uh, it's possible that's what that'll have. Don't know yet. That should be cool though. That should work. It, the gesso will strengthen the pages. And uh, again, that is what I am looking for. Okay, we'll chat soon. Bye. Hi guys, how's it going? Just, uh, let's see, you probably were just on fast forward. And um, I'll probably put you back on fast forward. I just kind of need to decompress today. It's been a long day. Um, I did... Ooh, sorry. I um, did do a repair on this. Uh, basically, I just made it so that the page would close um, without killing the book too much. I Frankensteined it. Um, so... By the time I'm done, this book will absolutely, uh, you know, probably be this wide, <laughs> you know. Um, but I did need to make a little bit more space in here. I needed to bring it up from this spine, as you can see, having that much pressure in on that book was going to uh, destroy it pretty quick. So... Um, you know, it, it, it is what it is, but I had to do some Frankensteining. Oh, well, uh, it's, it's, uh, it works. It works well. It's kind of bizarre, but, um, you know, it's going to allow me to do more things in the book. And... You know, who says the book has to be just that size? Yeah, maybe I'll build out... Maybe I'll build out some more on it. It's a thought. It's a thought. You know, there's there's just so much... Possibilities. Now I'm sitting here looking at it going, Oh, wait. I could do that. Because look at... I'm going to take you down to the table. Okay. So, right now I have this, but if I were to glue that, like that, then that would react a little better. Wouldn't be quite so out there. And it is completely um, strengthened. This is four sheets of paper here glued together, this page is. Now, I can leave it out here hanging like that, but I didn't realize that I could just do that and kind of bring it back into the book some. Which, I like that instead of having it totally outside of the book. I like the thought of bringing it back. So, yeah, I think I will do that. This I'll, you know, absolutely have to put more fabric on. Um, you know, every single seam is getting fabric at this point. But I kind of like the thought of giving it that um, little extra space there. Kind of like your book has, right? Uh-huh. That's right, Steffi. We're not going to worry about it right now, though. We've got other things to worry about. Um, finding images has been difficult. Um, I'm looking for more, uh, 
cool covers, uh, you know, cool pieces. I want to get these last two done. And so I went back online. These are actually the flying girls. I think I need to put, um, those two probably right here. See, we've got her, but then if we pull in those two, you put them in right here. Maybe just one of them. I kind of love that one. I kind of love seeing the real people, though. That's what always amazes me is is seeing the the actual people who 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 did this. I love that. So there were quite a few images uh, that I found, you know, to match the people to the, the picture. Um, you know, this guy just kind of creeps me out. I like this photo, but it's just not um, a stark enough image, you know? There's the bearded lady, but it's not my favorite. I wanted to do... I think... do the Princess Valerie. Well, this one, I'd have to find a different image for her. This one is kind of cool. I could probably use that one right there. I'm going to cut him out. I do love this one. A little gremlin. Because it cracks me up. Because people won't, people won't get that <laughs> right off the bat. But I think it would be funny to throw it in there. Just for um, grins and gills. Right. Um, this is somebody's art. It's not a vintage. Um, this is a vintage poster. This is obviously not. 1984. This is a vintage one so I could do the wrestlers. This one I thought was cool. I already did them. This is somebody's art. The same person here. They're going around doing circus art, which is cool. Here, 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 here. Okay. Oh, and then I love the strong lady. She has a really cool story. She would go around lifting up her husband. This is her husband. <laughs> her name was Kate. Uh, um, Katie San Sanwina. And true, she also went by another name, too. So, uh, I'm going to put her in there also. Even though I did the strongest man, I'd love to do the strongest woman. And let's do this for the snake. Okay. Um, I'm going to just put you guys in fast forward, I think. Um, I had just kind of a, a kind of a tough day today. And truly, I'm just tired. And uh, I'm working on this book because I know I need to get you a video. And, uh, I really don't want to. And, you know, now I'm at the point where I just want to get this page finished, this layout finished, and, um, the, the next layout is already pretty darn cool. It's, um, I'm gonna do a waterfall if I can figure out how to make it work. Uh, I was working on it earlier today, but I have to figure out... How to do it. Um, halfway there. Seven, seven page, uh, three, yeah, the seven page waterfall. So, gotta play with that more. I like that giant bearded man too. The one the bearded man is pretty cool. This guy's pretty cool. So, I'm going to cut him out. I'm going to get her fixed. And uh, her done. So, I'm just going to work on that. And, um, you know, there's just not much, not much excitement here with this.
is what it is. Fussy cutting, huh? Yeah, you don't need to watch me cut this all out. He is cool, though. Can you imagine being shot out of a cannon? I mean, it, it's interesting. I, I've been doing a lot of reading today um, as I'm looking for images and, you know, coming across the top acts for um, Barnum and Bailey. And you know, these guys actually did make a, a the, the top performers made a, a pretty decent living at it. You know, some of them dying millionaires, uh, but they were on display too, you know, at least a show a day or more. But um, pretty incredible stuff. All right, where's our, hold this up, hold this down, hold these in. And I wanted to put him down here, which of course you can't see because I have too much stuff on my desk. I think he's cool. I mean, who is this guy? Uh, it was interesting. The um, tall man married the uh, paraplegic. I was like, so interesting. The bearded lady was married twice. And her second husband died. I don't know if the first husband did also. Um, the knife throwers. Those were actually, that was a brother and sister uh, act. And they performed together for years and years and years. They still have pictures of them uh, performing probably when they're they look like they're in their 60s or older but you know who, who can really tell with um, that era how, how old people were so we want to make sure that that picture actually here See if I can pull it over just a touch. We're still wet. I haven't really pushed it down yet. So we were able to pick it up. I want to get this picture here. Okay, it's picking up the green from underneath. So let's try to wipe it down. gently on this one. He is cut smaller. He's not a full piece. He doesn't have any real stability to him. Okay, that head just moved. I did not tear it off because I was very careful. Although it's starting to pull up the image here. So we're just going to leave it like that. Okay. That dude's done. I like that. Uh, you know, she could use something a little bit more interesting around her. Um, we'll see what she looks like when she's edged. 
So this one, I don't want it to dry shut. So we're just going to stick this in there. Right there. Okay. Of course, I've got to move it, so that's not going to work, right? Really, what's stuck now? A piece of this glue. Fabri-Tac. We can fix that up later. Love those guys. Okay. What is on here? I really need to go clean out my water. This line, uh, this line is okay to be a little bit darker. I like it a little bit darker. She's kind of a little bit darker of a person, so it's fitting. Again, the paintbrush takes it right into those cracks that I want it to cover. A little more water. It's beautiful. Just like that. Let's do a little stabilo up in here. And then to the bottom of this guy. Get a little bit bigger brush. <laughs> Stiffer brush is better. Ooh. I probably just got this. What is that? That must be the gesso. I probably should go clean out my water because that paintbrush did not get clean. Oh, that's not good. This brush, I thought I threw this brush away long, long ago. What do we got? Well, I guess we're back to this guy. That's a good amount of smudge right there. Did you good, healthy schmudging? All right, let's uh, are we addressing that yet? So and we're getting into those spots where I cut through it. We really don't want to get that though. That's from the Timber Brown stays on. And I'll go back through and recolor that again. Once again, we'll get some black on that. We don't want black on that. We're going to need some black there, though. Good. 
repairs. The ongoing repairs. Okay, you need to get your other light fixed. Oh my, where's, where's my Stabilo now? There it is. I think I can find my pencil sharpener. So my ex-boss isn't quite understanding the concept of forced retirement. He, uh, uh, he's called me twice now. Actually, he's called me more times than that. I just don't answer. Um, I, I, I just, I just want to be done. And, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a traumatic enough experience for me. I, I just really want it to be done. But he's going to go into the office tomorrow and work in Walnut Creek. And he doesn't have an office anymore. They have a new person in there. Um, I don't know where he's expecting he's going to work. Uh, he's just... And I asked him, "Is like, you're going to go work? He's like, yeah. Jeez. So it's, it's really pretty sad. Um... You know, he's he's insisting that he's going to continue to work even though they forced him to retire. And, uh, I, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to say to him. You know, it's not my job anymore. I don't have to... It's not my job anymore. This, everybody else can deal with him now. Um... But I just, I just really, truly want it to be done. I have to go and meet with him again tomorrow, which is really frustrating. But uh, it's for my automatic payments, I think, for my severance. So uh, that'll be going on for, you know, a few months. I need that. I need that. So I will make sure that I am there tomorrow. But it just is very frustrating that um, this couldn't have been done before. You know, it would have been so much easier if we could have done this automatic deposit while I was working for him and he refused to do it. So. You know, I need it to happen. This is uh, the Antique Linen Distress Oxide, uh, Distress Ink. I'm just going over any of these spots that might be white um, from where I did that technique to them. I'm going to leave his face bright white. Uh, that's, you know, going to be the whitest spot because that's how it should be. Uh, I'm going to take any white spots down here down. So that's why I didn't really mind that that yellow had gotten on there. Um, because again, it's that's color I would most likely have put behind there anyway. And her, can you see her? Now this one is going to color a little bit more um, differently because of the uh, stencil that's underneath of it. I would love to color her uh, feathers, actually. Let's color her feathers. Um, yeah. Let's think about coloring her feathers. Let's uh, pull out the distress marker on the big side. That's a pretty dark color. 
Use it sparingly, use it only in the darks. Kind of a little bit more of a grayer blue. Let's look here and see. You got a new set. so tired guys I know I need to make you videos but golly I'm tired let's give her shirt a little bit of color here Beautiful. Give him a little bit of color too. Since we got it in our hands. <laughs> and it, it's just subtle. I don't want it to overbear uh, to be overbearing to him. I'm sorry that you're kind of out of the screen here. There's just not much I can do about it. Mm, we're just warming up the whole image with the antique linen. I don't really know why I put this on there, but I just kind of liked it. Mm. I don't know if I needed it. I probably didn't need it. I just wanted his name to be on there. I wanted her name to be on there too, but that was on the other image. So. Now the question is, is am I going to put any sort of tassel or flag back onto these? And at this point in time, I don't know. I just don't know if I am or not. Uh, it just depends because it's already been kind of damaging to the book itself. So... And cutting down the bristles, making a new stubby. Feet are hot. It's, this it, temperature is so hard to regulate in this place. It it drives me crazy. I'm either freezing or boiling, and it's kind of never anything in between. It's always one or the other. I run cold in general, so that doesn't help in this type of situation. So then, you know, I have my heater set, you know, the 86 or something. Because it only, you know, I just want it on high, and then I can shut it off. But if I don't shut it off in time, then it gets really hot in here. But I've never heard that thing go off anyway, even when I had it set at, you know, 72 or whatever. It doesn't go off. So, and then it just doesn't get hot. <laughs> that would be nice I, you know I hope I don't have to deal with that in my next place I don't really know what that setup's going to look like it's a complete mystery to me uh, I'm looking forward to it and, and get a little nervous about it and um, But it's going to be amazing to be up in the trees again and to be by water and to not have so much concrete around me. And, you know, every single chance I get, I leave the town, the city, to go and be outdoors. And I haven't had a chance to do that much this year at all. This is probably the, less I've, the least I've gone out and done outdoors things since I've uh, moved to California for sure um, just because I was so busy with the uh, shows and stuff and making things that I didn't do my normal traveling so it'll be great to get out and 
see Oregon. I'm going to be right, right, right by the Oregon border. Very much looking forward to that. Just kind of grunging this up here a little bit more. Just give me a little more depth. Here. So, you know, I could even stabilo along each of the lines up in the tent. I don't think I'll do that. This definitely needed something right there, huh? Uh, I don't really mind how this looks at this point. I, I'm actually pretty good with how that uh, gesso looks in there. Here's a little bit of red there. I'll probably still need to go back through and cover that up. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see these guys very well. I like how it's turned out. I think they look uh, really amazing. Oh, we gotta do the fronts. And I'm putting a lot of uh, graphite down. I think this is graphite. Water-soluble graphite. And the reason that I'm doing that is um, I want a good schmear. So basically, that's that. Not to say I won't go back through and fine tune them, but um, let's see if you can get over here and see them any better. You know, there's there's a good chance that I'll go through and fine tune them. But if you can see here, the fine little details here, I love how you can have your base layers still showing you know especially back in here i really love that look and that technique Put you up here a little bit more so you can see these guys and how beautiful they are aren't they beautiful both are facing forward uh they're the center pieces so they are all of them well he's not but they're addressing you know the viewer even though she's looking down she's still it would be kind of cool to do something uh, bright yellow right there. Oh, let's see here. Use my other hand here so I don't get that all full of graphite. Give it a pop. You know, you can really use your markers when you're coloring in black and white to really just accentuate uh, what you want to accentuate. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I'll deal with these other images later. I think you have enough to have another video off of this. So um, your next video i'll come back and we'll just kind of finish things up and hopefully that'll be on on the 15th days of today excuse me today is the 13th you'll get this tomorrow i'm gonna go edit it right now even though it's nine o'clock at night 
Actually, I'll probably edit it in the morning. I think it'll be pretty easy to edit. Um, and then tomorrow's, uh, we'll post it up. And this might be the last in this set, actually, because on the 15th, I think we might just do the drawing. So I've got to, I've got to think about that and see if we need to put one more video up on this or not. I don't, I don't think so. I think we're coming to the home stretch. Oh, Kathy, I still need to talk about the difference between mica sheets. Oh, goodness. Mica sheets have much, much, much more interest to them than acetate. Acetate, you know, just feels like plastic, and uh, which it is, of course. Um, whereas mica has this completely different texture to it. I love working with this stuff because it can give you like a completely different feel. And when you look at it, it has sheets to it. Um, it, it breaks, it has layers. Um, so you can crumple this up, actually. You can take off smaller pieces. You can um, do it in, sh in, you know, you can kind of shred it up and stick it in like my shaker window. Oh. I, I like this, it's, you know, it is a mineral. Uh, I like it much better because I think it has a lot more interest to it. Now, if you want something that's just a, pe a, a plain piece of plastic, definitely use it. If you want something that has some character, which you can give a lot more character to, um, definitely go this route. If you look at my altered book number two, um, there was one page on there where I took the mica sheet and I really crumpled it up. And then on the other page on the birds, the dual flip frame for the birds, I left it uh, pretty um, clean like this. So you can kind of see the two different ways that you can treat the mica and, you know, kind of the broken window, the crackled window versus the um, antique window. So I love mica sheets. I really do. Uh, hopefully you can see what they do. And then you can also, I was thinking about this the other day, what about doing an image transfer onto the mica itself? I don't know if it would work, but wouldn't that make just a super cool transparency? Yes, it would. It would make a very cool transparency. Um, so yeah, all sorts of fun things to do. Goodness, I've got so much work to do here. Um, but that's mica sheets. I would, um, you know, if if you like how clean, look how thin this one is. It's like a paper. Um, if you like, you know, just clean piece of plastic. Use a clean piece of plastic. If you want something that's unique and different, um, go with the mica sheets. The, they give a uniqueness to your work. I have them on the Amazon list. If you order them off of the Amazon list, I do get a small little uh, kickback um, because I'm an affiliate, so that'd be awesome. I haven't made any money off of it yet, <laughs> but I am finally approved, so um, that's a bonus. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to start packing my art supplies up here fairly soon. And uh, that will allow me some time to actually do some com massive amounts of computer work. Not that I'm not already, but... Oh, and I also have some awesome shout-outs to do. Thank you, everybody, for your support in purchasing the new packs. Um, and uh, it, it, it's great that you love them. It, it encourages me to continue to do more of those. Um, you know, I find cool stuff all the time and, 
I, I, I love to share the cool stuff that I find. So, you know, as long as you guys are interested in that and purchasing things, I will keep doing it. I don't want to get oversaturated because then my, um, you know, my stuff starts to build up my inventory. I'm not a big fan of having huge inventories of really anything, but thank you, uh, Susan and Carolyn and Tiffany and Oh, let's see who else. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting a couple of people. Forgive me, people. Uh, forgive me, everyone. I I so much appreciate um, everybody's purchase. I just I just can't remember. I can't remember much right now. I'm tired. <laughs> How many times do I have to say that? I'm tired. not even that late to go to bed but I'd love to lay down and watch Outlander and um, yeah just kind of one down I did get some did I tell you this I got some pieces for my art studio uh, yesterday um, so basically this is a one bedroom house I'm moving to um, it's kind of like an in-law house on this um, five acres and uh, uh, I'll be the caretaker and um, the front room of course would normally be a person's living room well that's gonna be my art studio because I don't have you know really living space right now even so um, I don't think I'll have space for even a couch in there, maybe a chair, I don't know. Um, I've got a lot of furniture for a little space. Uh, oh no, don't cover up the bird. So, you know, I've got to have my computer. I would like to get rid of this big table and get more of a desk. Um, a kind of something smaller, a little bit more mm, stylish. I saw some wooden desks on Craigslist. I mentioned, or I messaged the guy. He didn't respond, so those are probably gone. But they would have been, they would have worked well. Um, and the desk would replace this. And probably my table that has my... Um, computer on it currently it's, it's you know it's a dinner table uh, I doubt I have room for a dinner table I don't expect that I do have a large patio or deck um, so in summertime I'll be able to set up the deck it doesn't have any type of covering on it though so I'll have to work on that uh, just kind of figure out what I want to do there. Get some sort of canopy. I just decided she wanted a kind of a rosy. I could probably color her that same color. Let's see here. Maybe. Makes her stand out a little bit more. Don't do a lot of uh, space at once, just do a little bit at a time. Because that marker will dry quickly, and sometimes it doesn't work. So, you know, just uh, be cautious how much you do when you use it. Her face is a little bit pink. I'll probably go back and adjust that later. I'm not going to do it tonight, though, because I'm too tired to do it tonight. <sighs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I, I just finished up some things here. I didn't finish up these guys. Um, <laughs> they, they crack me up. Okay. Um, where are we at?
Love them. Love that page. So not only is it a six tenths, but it, you know, it's six individual um, vignettes, you know. Yes, you know. You've been you've been here with me the whole time. So you do know what I'm talking about. That one had a little bit of glue stuck to it. I was able to pull off the glue and fix it. Put a little bit of color right in there. Right in there. Get another spot that the glue got. And then I have to decide what to do for these two. But I don't want to decide tonight. <sighs> Good night, everybody. Love you. Bye.